All righty, welcome back everybody. It's running board day. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. Uh, we're here every day. We want to thank you for coming back. We appreciate it. But what's going on is we're going to make some running boards. That's where we're at now. That's what we have to do. Uh, basically, I want to make the running boards before I apply the fenders because the running boards tell me exactly where the fenders have to go. Uh, basically, what's going on there, it shows me where the fenders got to go. Uh, and I want to... I want to apply the running board up front, apply the running board to the frame, and then mount the fenders in the rear. We have both fenders welded up with the lip on them now. We can mount them to the box. We have not got them cut yet where we're gonna cut it and then about weld that piece on, but we're, that's what we're gonna do. The running boards are gonna be, I'm gonna go over the running boards because of, you can see what's going on here. Uh, we have a bunch of patchwork that's going on. We want to make new ones. We got a patch going here. We got a patch going here. We got one patch there, two patch, three patch, four patch, five patch. You know what I'm saying. Just for a little, um, what can I say? For future reference and anybody that's making anything, try to try to refrain yourself. Try to refrain yourself from doing that sort of stuff. Like one little piece here, one little piece here, one little piece here, you know, one little piece here, one little piece here, and then a piece here. Try to refrain from doing that. If you can refrain yourself from doing that, then you'll start making panels and you'll really be happy with the stuff that you're making. Um, basically is what I'm trying to say. Um, and I'm going to make the running board and I better get at it because you know how it goes. This running board is beat up also. I've got it applied in there with a pair of uh, pair of C-clamps. I've got it put in there. It fits. Got the running or the fender basically where it's got to go. This running board here. I'm going to look at I'm going to look at this one and take one of the running boards as a pattern. Now that one there has got a piece all on this side here which makes it a little bit wider, you know. Basically, what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, well, I can get this running board out of here. Drop the front down. I just got that sitting on jack stands. And then we'll pull this out of here. Alrighty. This running board here, um, I'm, I'm saying it must have had a, a rubber, rubber mat on it. It's got a little bit of a place here where it's lifted up. This running board has got no repair going down the side part. It's all bent up here. It's got a little repair underneath here, a little repair underneath there. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the one that I think is the best for a pattern. And this is the one I'm thinking. I'm going to straighten it out a little bit. And what I mean by straighten it out is I'm just going to hit it with a hammer. You can see where it's cocked out here a little bit. Uh, right there and right there. I'm just going to nail it back in there again where it should be. Where I'm thinking it should be. Alrighty, I'm going to make a pattern of that. You know what I'm going to go to next? I'm going to go to the Bristol board. We'll make a pattern. Got a nice straight edge on that. Hopefully. You want to look at the tailgate? Oh, we're over here by the tailgate. We may as well show you. <laughs> Joey was going. <laughs> that means I guess I've got to show you the tailgate. I was just going for a pattern. Uh, the tailgate, I've got that piece welded all the way across there, grounded off nice. I got it spot welded. I put a line on there so I, drew, I knew where to drill the holes at, so I spot welded on from the back. I also took a piece of three quarter inch square star, or flat stock, and spot welded it to the top. Uh, it makes it look like that this piece has a piece rolled under and then it's spot welded to the top. So that basically, that tailgate would look like an original tailgate. It has a lot of shape to it. Um, you would not think that I made it. Once it's all painted and all uh, dealt with, don't know what I'm putting on the back yet, whether I'm putting Plymouth on it, whether I'm putting Jolene on it, whether I'm putting hilts on it, I have no idea yet. But um, it's basically ready. You can see where I spot welded across the back. Each piece, it goes up and down nice. It looks like a real gate. And uh, with this, the, just the pipe going across the top and the pipe going along the bottom, didn't have enough dimension to it. I put this piece on, it looked good. Then when I put that piece on, it looked even better. So now we have to uh, apply a name to it. And then we'll get to that. We'll get to that. I'm going to draw a straight line on that. 
And the reason I'm going to draw a straight line on that is because I gotta get a marker. First time I've been cleaning up. See, put all my stuff away. You should do that once in a while too. It helps to start over. Uh, this this has a bend in it all the way along here, and it's not straight. I, I'm not going to try to put that bend in. This is 14 gauge. This is the last piece of 14 gauge that I have, and I wanted to make two running boards out of it, and that's what I'm going to use it for. But this piece here, we'll get to it. I'm going to straighten this off on this. I'm going to straighten this off on this edge here. I'm just going to find the straight spot. There's a little line you can see where they started to bend it. It's got a little bend there, a little bend there, a little bend there, a little bend there. It's almost like um, they used a brake of some sort to bend that. I'm going to use, you'll probably never guess, a piece of exhaust pipe. So I'm going to show and draw a straight line on that. Trying to make it as easy as possible on myself to make this running board. That's basically all I'm trying to do. Easy as possible. So what I'm drawing the line is on, I'm thinking, is where the bend started. So this is where, I, this is where I'm thinking it's curving over, and that's where I'm drawing the line so I can make a pattern. Also, I did not show you. I should show you. On this end when that's tight and right up against there if you come take a look you can see how that's the running board does not come out to fit the fender when that's up tight against the frame there you can see right there I'm, I'm shy probably inch and a half maybe almost close to two inches I have to deal with that because the original running board is not going to fit I do not want it on an angle going out to the thing there, so I'm going to actually do something. I'm going to, I'm going to customize it and make it and make it my way, and that's going to make me happy. You know why? Because it's my way. All right, I'm going to put this on the. See if I can get this on the line. We're making a pattern for a running board. That is pretty good and straight there. Not bad. Not bad. Now, I need a straight edge on this piece. And... Ah, it's a straight piston board here. So I'm going to have to make the running board a little wider on the back to make it work. Just over here looking for a piece of bristol board that's got a straight edge on it. I might as well grab myself a pair of scissors. I need some tape. Stick with me. We'll make a pattern first. So basically I'm just going to tape this on there. Make sure it stays straight. Just put my glasses on so I can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm just going to tape that on that line. Just tape on this line. The better pattern that you make Maybe the better job you'll get, basically, is what I'm thinking, generally. Nice and straight all the way along. That's what I want. Lay that over there. Looks pretty good. So we're making the, the flat part of the running board and we're going to make it the easiest way possible. We're going to trace it, we're going to make a pattern of the flat part of the running board and then we're going to apply it to the 14 gauge. So I'm going to take my, my dirty finger trick. The front of this running board fits the front fender. The problem I'm having is the back fender because I have widened it. And we will deal with that 
we'll deal with it together. I'm gonna mark it with a marker, no doubt in my mind too. I'm also doing it with the my dirty finger trick, but I'm gonna mark it with my marker. I can pretty well see it. Pretty well see it nicely. Yeah. Was that just laughing at me? Keep her rocking and rolling here. Now this, where I'm down here at the back, where the running board fits the back fender. This does not fit the back fender. I can explain that. The fender's over, over about here somewhere. So I'm going to add something to the pattern to make it fit that. All right, there's the pattern of the run. That's the flat part of the running board. I want to, I want to cut that out. Of, I want two of these cut out of this 14 gauge, two of those. So I'm going to cut off the pair of scissors first. Don't know where I put the cover to that. Just leave that for now. All right, am I doing this? Let's get to figure if I'm doing the right thing, that's all. Basically, I'm just going to smooth that line up. You can see it's got a little bit of this and that in it. I'll just smooth it up when I take my scissors down along it. Or try to. down tape off. So I'll just cut it a little bit better. Cut it on the other end. Don't know why that's flipping up on me out there, but Tape this back side to keep that nice and flat together. Just take and roll that tape over so it's nice and tight and right. Now I'm saying that that's a pattern for our running board. I got a straight edge going there. Like how that is. 
Beautiful. Now, let's push this down a little bit. It's fitting nice there on that straight edge. And I'll get it fitting nice on this straight edge. I wouldn't think that, I, I think anybody, well, I'm not saying anybody, but I would think that you would always want to start with your straight edge. It just gives you a better chance of getting where you're going. Just gonna put a little tape right there. Hold that. We'll put another piece up this end. And what what what's really good is that straight down there across there, really nice. And I have a nice straight line up here. It kind of tells me something. It tells me that uh, I do gotta, you know, if it's straight there, I've cut that from that, and I'm running straight along here in a straight edge there. It tells me that I'm doing good. I'm doing good. All right, I need that marker. And I need two of these. So, let's do it. Made this one. Stay down. Just trying to get the truest read possible. And this comes in again where if it's a little bit wee wonky, as if I'm looking at it, it looks a bit wee wonky, well then I'll just straighten it out with a grinder or a flapper wheel. Okay, I'm saying I've got Got one drawn on there. Now I'm hoping. We can take two out of there, but I have to draw the straight edge. That's fine. I got the straight edge down here. Let's do that. Okay. Not so straight as the other one. Get that going right. I'm gonna take a piece of tape and hold that one end so it don't go anywhere. Oh, try and take the end, try and take the end off the marker. You see that? Huh? Actually, start down here. Didn't want it straight on that edge. That's all. What's going on? Why, why, why is it being hard, being hard to move? I'm just going to tape it there for a minute. Oh, don't want to tape it there. What's holding that? Okay. I know it's only paper and tape, but something was holding it. Taking it at that edge. Right there. The reason I'm doing it this way is because I don't want to cut into all that metal. I could. I'm going to tape that down there because it was standing up on me. Ah. See how it's standing up there? I don't want that. I don't want that. Stay down. Give me a true read. Get down. What's that, sweetheart? It probably would be easier if I had magnets. Yes, it would be. It probably would be, but I, I got it now. I got it. I think I got it. I'm going to play that game. What's that game? Will you? Huh? Twister. Twister? All the different colors. Just want to hold it down flat so it does not stand up on me. I want to get the, keep saying it, true read. Everybody likes the truth. 
It's the easiest form of communication is the truth. And when you, you know, someone starts lying to you, when do you jump back on and, and figure they're telling you the truth? When do you jump back on? Alrighty. I'm thinking that we got it. Just pull that off. Just gonna add that together. Marker's working good now. We got two, two faces for the running board. And that's just the face, the top face. We've still got a lot to do yet. We've got to cut the face. We're going to cut the face. We have a, a 90 on this side. And we have a roll on this side. And we have an end that fits the back fender. And we have an end that hits the, the front fender. So less less to get the face cut. And we'll go from there. We'll do one of those at a time. And however, however far we get, we'll continue on the next day. That's what we'll do. I'm going to get three little buckets or three little stands here. These are safety stools. Uh, a friend of mine has designed them and sells them. Fred Rogers. I'm probably not his poster boy for safety, but <laughs> I have them. Get on there. I'm going to Yeah, extend. Thank you, sweetheart. Appreciate it. You're not only beautiful and smart and lovely and all that stuff, you're helpful. Does that work? She's gonna fix my mic. She cuts my hair. She feeds me. She does all of the above. Alrighty. I have, let's, I'm gonna clean this out of my way so I'm able to do something. I'm hoping both both running boards are identical. I'm, I'm thinking they are. I did notice that the rear end in this truck is one way further than the other way. That's fine. Most of them are. I probably will use the brackets that are in here on the new running boards just because, and some of them are rotten down here, but this here, I, I don't want to duplicate and try to make all that stuff. I'll just pull that off, cut that off and reuse it. No doubt in my mind. Good, I can cut that off there. First thing I'll do is I'll probably just cut that right off there. They're both the same length. It looks fantastic. Let's do it. tape that I leave on the floor I would never mask up a car with it I just leave it there because I'm always using it all the time for patterns and stuff like that but basically you should not leave like if you're going to tape up a car you would not leave your tape on the floor uh, the tape picks up dirt on the side of it and uh, you know what happens when you have dirt in your paint job you're not happy so try not to leave your tape on the floor if you're using it to paint tape and paint a tape paint job don't do that um, I'm doing it because I'm making a pattern and that's what I use it for. Alrighty, we're on. We're on air. I'm gonna cut that off first. Get some gloves on. I got a little bit of a mess going here, but that's fine. Gotta start somewhere. Have me, baby. Gotta start somewhere. 
Got running boards for this bad boy. It's really gonna start looking up, getting the running boards on it, get the fenders connected. Woo! It's gonna start looking up. Not that it doesn't now. Very happy with the tailgate. Very happy. Well done, Chad. Well done. This piece is going to live for another day. Now, I've got two running boards there. Can't use a roller to cut that. Uh, I could use a zip cut, but I think I'm going to use the plasma cutter. Another good reason why it's okay, I feel like it's okay to use the, the, the plasma cutter is because this, this shape, the shape that I have on the running board is the shape that's going against the chassis. There's going to have to be a piece of metal added to that and that piece of metal will help me straighten that out um, with that shape. So basically that's what I'm thinking. Why not? It's good not to breathe when you're doing that, and I can only hold my breath for so long, so. <laughs> not true. working good today so I have a little bit of a whoopty woo there which is fine a little whoopty woo there we'll take and let that cool off for a second plasma cutter and knock some slag off of that flapper wheel I like the nice factory edge. So when I add, um, I'm gonna take the exhaust pipe and put it on there and uh, we're, we'll do it when we do it. So it's nice to have a nice factory edge to start with. Cleaned off nice. 
flapper wheel on that. Straighten that out a little bit. Something so simple that would bother me is not being able to pick a piece of metal up off the floor. Just gonna straighten it out a little bit, just by us. I know what you're thinking. He didn't add any on to the rear of the running board to accept the back fender. And I did not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the running board and then I'll add a little piece on the back of the running board. I'll butt weld it on like I did the tailgate. And that way there I know it's going to fit. Uh, it's pretty hard to hold a piece of paper up against that fender when it's not connected. The running board's not connected. I want to connect the running board to the front fender, connect the running board to the, the chassis, put the fe bolt the fender on sort of where it's got to go and then I can make that piece in the end and make it look nice in the end. That's my plan. I think it's the easiest way. I'm grinding this I'm not there's nothing I'm going by I'm just trying to make that that swoop there nice and steady and it have no jogs in it so don't look bad let's go based on here saying that this goes up against on this side this will go up against the chassis like this which is lovey dovey just looking at it just want to make it a little bit actually just want to make it a little bit better just looking down it I've got a couple little jogs in it I don't like So remember, this is the side that goes against the chassis. When it goes underneath here, if I have a little bit of like an eighth or a sixteenth or even a little tiny bit more, if it's not fitting tight and right, you're not going to see it. It's, so it's not really um, necessary that it's perfect. But sometimes. I got that one looking really good. So we'll leave that one. Let's cut another one. Do, 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 do. Let me get that off. Let's see if we can cut that, no problem. Cut 
with that, no problem. Get that pulled over there. We're cooking with gas. Not gonna cut anything. Good. Let's do it. Let's put our ground on. So the running board is gonna be made out of a few different pieces. And that's fine. Put that tire in my way. You people at home get to see better than I do. I know it because I've watched some of Jolene's videos and I can't see as good as the, the camera shows. Oh, I'm on the cord. What happened? Something happened. Beautiful you are, Jolene. Gorgeous! All right. Take this one off. Let's move this one up a little bit. Actually, we'll just leave this one. Off. Let's continue on with this one so we can get a little further in the project. Got this piece here, we got that one cut. Now, what I'm thinking is, now we're making this run, making that running board right there. Uh, it has, I'm saying an inch or better lip all the way along this outside edge. So what I have done, you'll never guess. I bought some inch flat bar. Maybe even a little better than an inch. There's a couple of people that donated money for metal. We appreciate it. And we spent it. Did we not? We spent it. I'm going to use this to make that lip. We'll get a length. Then we'll cut it off. I'm going to unplug. Turn that off. I don't want anybody to get myself burnt or cut. Alrighty. Um, zip cut. So basically, the, this running board is just in steps. You figure out the steps that you want to take, just like applying the tailgate. Figure out the steps you're going to go, and then go for it. There was nothing I don't think anybody else couldn't have done on this tailgate. What I did, basically, was just figuring out the steps to take to get it done. And that's exactly what I'm doing with the running board, is I've taken my time and used my brain and following the steps that I think I have what I have to do to get it done and I think this is the next step so we'll do you want to hold that down there should be here as possible I'm gonna mark a second sorry and get a marker I can basically um, make it a little long and then cut it on after that's to be something I can do 
Joanne's gonna just hold it there for me because she's a sweetheart. I'm going to cut it off there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it a little bit long, and the reason being is because if it's long, I can cut it off. If it's short, don't want that. Clean the end of it off. Let's apply it. Let's apply it. Now, I'm going to do the exact same thing that I generally do or I say to do every time. I'm going to 50-50 the metal. I'm not going to lay that on there like that. I'm not going to do that. That way there, if I, if I weld that on top of there, if I try to grind it off and make it look nice, then I'm basically grinding off my, all my weld. I want to 50-50 that again, half and half, and lay the weld. So if I get it like this, you zoom in on that, sweetheart? So if I get it, if I get it, say like that, if I weld that, start that on there, weld it like that. When I weld that up there, and like I say, I always do, I ground that flat, and I grind this flat, that means there'll still be weld in the corner to hold what I'm going for. And you should do that with everything that you're doing, or most everything that you're welding and doing, because when you grind it off, you would, you would probably like it to, to hold when you grind it off. And you cannot expect to grind it off really, really, really nice if you have not got the weld there. Like, I mean, like I said, if you ground, if I put it on the top and to weld it all on the top, I can't grind it off so it looks nice. You can, but you haven't got much. I'm gonna tack it. Try to get a nice spot, tack it. One to hold it for myself. Get it underneath there. 50-50 that damn sucker. Now, you can see, when I got that weld there, I can grind the top off, I can grind this off, and then I'll have something. Just gonna run it along all the way, make sure it's in there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby! I'm gonna run it in there like that. I'm gonna plug it right in here. That in a little bit. I'm just gonna run it down the whole way like this. I'm holding it up and holding it in the right spot.
Now, I have a nice piece of flat going all the way along there. Um, I have it nicely placed, so it's placed right. I want to make sure that it's straight up and down the best it can be. Grab a piece of pair of channel locks, just pull it out a little bit. I just want to make sure it's you know I need more or less. Well, you know what I'm trying to tell you. Not bend the running board at all. It's looking better. I'm just going to run one down in between each one of those and then we'll make another piece. Oh, round off. Pull a little aid and trick. Yeah. How you doing, that's, Harold? That's your block in the rear. Cool. Keep it in here where it's warm. This is Harold. This is Top Line Ventures. I'm happy with the building. Harold's looking awesome. Looking awesome. Really happy. Yeah. Going inside. Just looking real good. Sweet inside. Yeah, it's really nice. I got, I got to tell you a little story. We were, <laughs> we were down the road. And we come back and we wanted to look at the building. We wanted to take a look at it, see yeah. if the door was on. When we got down there, we noticed the door. The door was on. And the windows were at the top. Joey said, I don't want the windows at the top. <laughs> so anyways, we come running back up. And I said, well, call Harold. He'll get it fixed. And we come. The, up <laughs> the door was in the opposition. <laughs> see, they came to me this morning. Yeah. Because we talked about that yeah. a month and a half, two yeah. months ago. It was funny. And we were both that close to calling you <laughs> until we get up here and we said, oh, the door is up. <laughs> <laughs> that was going good. See, Harold? We could put them down low. Tina could look in. <laughs> no, we don't want that. <laughs> Alrighty, so I got that tacked on there. We need a piece in the front for the front fender. We have the pattern right there. Or we have the pattern over here. Um, probably, probably, I'm thinking that the fender or that, this has got a piece welded on here. You can see where the tab has been all been broken off. And it's not, it's not, it's not good. It's not where it should be. No doubt in my mind. So we're going to take a piece off the front fender. Let's do it. This is how I'm going to do it. I got a straight edge. Find my straight edge. We'll run the straight edge with the top of the fender. I can see it better from that side. A pair of scissors. Guess with the rest of that, I'm going to. We can always trim it back after. Doesn't look bad. What good use we have? Looks good to me. If it's okay with Joanne, it's good enough for me. Yeah, it's exciting uh, with the building getting close to being finished. Everybody that's worked on it has done a fantastic job, I'm saying. And if they haven't done a fantastic job, M pieces, well then I'll, I'll go talk to them. Simple as that. Just make it simple. Which I think they all have. Harold's son has done 
the, the, the main construction of it. And he's had some good workers there. I don't actually know all the names, but they all work really good, as I can tell. That fits that no no that's better than that's better than that's just great. It's fantastic. Now what I don't know for sure is I don't know for sure if that fender's in there or the running board goes in there. I'm going to cut that off and I'm going to lay this piece I'm going to 45 that piece on there and hope for the best. I'm just going to tack it on that way there. What's that? I'm just going to tack it on. That way there if I have any issues at all then I can just go snip snip, pull it off and adjust it. But basically this, this is my next step. I have to put that end piece on. This is where it bolts to the chassis. Obviously. And I'll bring that in there, like so, and I'll 50-50 it again. So when I grind it off, my welds, where are my welds at? Explain that too many times, I don't think. Um, I want a piece of paper to cut this off so it's right. Get on that edge. It's the right distance. Going on there. A little long would be good, so that's what we're, that's what we're going for because I can always buff it off. Make it a little bit long. And I need to cut another piece. I like to have a straight edge, and I pulled one off right there. Look. Just want to go with the straight edge piece. I will not throw that piece of metal away. Don't get, don't get that wrong. I will not throw it away. It's just. This just makes it easier for me to cut with that. Right, I'll take it up to that straight edge too. Perfect. You are, Julie. Yep, we went up the road and, and the windows were at the top of the door. We didn't want the windows at the top of the door. It's a good thing we didn't call Harold because when we got to the house, the door was up in the air. <laughs> That's how things go sometimes, isn't it, baby? Have to be careful. Poor communication can start wars. Nobody wants that. Alrighty. I'll keep that because we want two of them. Ouch. Just turn that on. I'm just going to do this by, by hand, this piece. One. secret to doing something like that, cutting that by hand, is to use both hands. Use this hand to steady this hand. Whether you're welding or whether you're doing anything, you know, it's, it's nice if you're doing something that control that asks for um, preciseness, try to grab that other hand any way possible. Lay it on that hand, hold that hand, put that thumb on that hand. Like if I have to put the thumb on the hand, just two hands, like one hand is it's kind of hard to pull something, but if you got two hands going, it, it just helps a little bit. No, it helps a lot. Then 
going to do the straight edge with that, and I'm just going to straighten my line. You can see that that's thinner there and thicker there. I'm going to use this ruler to straighten that out. Why would I not? Right? Good. Hope you agree. Can't say it's not straight now. Huh? Two hands on her, you see that, did you? Two hands. Make this nicely. Let's try it on the fender. Doesn't look bad. That roll could have a... A little more off the front, I think. Got a little bit of an edge going on here, a little bit more than it needs. But you know what happens there? I leave it there and then I grind it off as I apply that outside piece. So now we're onto this piece. We're going to put that on there like so. And then we're going to weld it on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that, see that little gap there? That's going to be for Mr. Weld. You know that guy. Or I do. All right, let's turn the welder on. And I'm going to just tack this on, I'm not going to zonk it on. And the reason being is, if it's wrong, I want to be able to take it off. One tap's holding it. Good. We'll tack it down a little here. A little bit of a gap going on. Just pry it in there a little bit. You know what gap means? Penetration. Just gonna pull it back just a little bit. You know what's welded when you got that little bit of gap going on? It's probably a better job than if you didn't have any. Well, it's a better job if you didn't have any. Well, so there's the front piece. I'm gonna give it a couple more little small tacks. Take me a second to zip it off if I had to. So now we're onto the back piece. I'm going to check the pattern out that I made for the front. 
and see if it'll work for the back. I would say it, it probably does. Well, it probably does. And that can be up there like that. That can be up there like that because I can grind it off if I have to when I go to apply the front. Just a little shorter, that's all. And I really don't even know the length yet because this is not hard up against there yet. So, I have to cut one of those pieces, that's for sure. Let's do this. Measuring tape. Dear God, I don't want to get a measuring tape going, do I? I had a measuring tape over there somewhere. On the welder. Thank you, sweetheart. I'll cut one more and tack it on the back, and then them see what happens from there but I'm just going to take the fender shove it over tight that would tell me wouldn't it so we're looking at a foot so if I shove the fender tight against the, the box from the frame to the edge of the fender is a foot so this piece here lucky me It's a foot. So I'm going to make this piece. I'm not going to cut it off by no means. I'm going to do this. Put that on there like that. Put that on there like that. Get down. I just want a true read, that's all. You're not going to get a good true read if it's up in the air. I must say something. I don't say must say something, but I must say, you know, if you, if you have like somebody working for you or somebody doing something for you, Throw them a compliment once in a while. Tell them they're doing a good job. Um, compliments are easy to give, and uh, it helps for motivation, you know, to tell someone they're doing a good job. And like the guys out there that are working on the building, they've been there for three, four months. Fantastic, they're doing a good job. I try to tell them they're doing a good job, and they are. I just suggest that it's, it's helpful um, to keep the spirits up. Don't you think, sweetheart? It's a good idea. I think. What's that? Thank you. Good job. Thanks, baby. My baby just told me he said I'm doing a good job. See how I acted when she said that? Well, thanks, baby. God bless you. And don't forget it. She tells me when I'm doing a bad job too. Ha ha ha! Hey, baby. Huh? You're not being behaved. She says. Two hands on the stick, you see that? I had two hands on the stick, boys. Two hands on the stick. I'll go this way. That nice straight line, would you? Huh? Woo! Man's on the stick. You go in the old corner playing hockey, you got two hands on the stick, you can get hurt. How do I know? Ha! <laughs> I come up with a broken collarbone before. Yeah. I'd have two hands on the stick.
reach that fur or not, but turn her on. Go for it. Now. Let's say it's going like that. Then what we're going to do, we're going to get a 45 of that metal or 50-50 it so we get a good... Sometimes that's the hardest part, people, is to hold something in place to weld it. Sometimes that's the hardest part. Nope. Don't want it there. Just enough I can get it on there. Stuck, didn't it? No, it's not. I'm saying that's the running board for of, uh, this side, basically. Let's just stick it on to her and see what we got. Just we got some running. I think this has to come up a bit. One, two. One, two. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Doesn't look like it's up high enough for that piece. Get in there. So, looks like that's gonna go back a bit. I'm gonna knock that off. Close. Too high? Nope. That one's too high. How do you do that? I need that jack stand's holding me up from letting it go down on the jack stand. Work with me. Work with me. Alrighty. Basically, something like yay. And that looks pretty good there. I can grind that off. Awesome. I'm not, I haven't got the right gap going uh, along here yet, but that's gonna have to be dealt with. Right here and here, difference gonna have to be dealt with as I go along and, and get the running board on. I have to, I'll probably, ha this is another nice thing too, where I have no front on it. Now I can get in there and see where that flat bar that I welded on the inside where it's going to the frame, where it's hitting and how to connect it and drill holes in and that sort of stuff. And I can get this gap all going right. Then I'll know where to put the back fender. This is another piece that has to be made. But that's another time. So basically, you know what I'm doing for the running boards. I have to, I'm going to get this one ground up exact same as that one. We'll put the pieces, we got the pattern right there. We'll do the exact same thing. We'll run the flat barrel on the edge. We'll make the two pieces for the ends. You come back tomorrow. And we'll do some more. If you like what I'm doing, throw a like in. I appreciate you all coming back. If you like, you might as well comment, share. And if you have any friends that are into building cars and having fun, get them to subscribe. All right, everybody. Thanks very much for coming back. See you tomorrow.